Horses are parading for race number nine, the Hayes Memorial for two-year-old Colt Trotters. And here they are. One is Sheridan Hanover, owned by Bob Waxman, and Castor Ontario, John Johnson Trains and Drives. 1A, Likely Lad, owned also by Waxman, John Johnson, the trainer, with Bernie Lynchdett in the bike. Two is Why Mess with Success, owned by the Why Mess with Success stable of Versailles, Kentucky. Ron Gerfine trains, Mike LaChance is up. Three, Chip Chip Hooray, owned by Chuck Sylvester and Neil Goldman of Florida. Chuck Sylvester trains, John Campbell is driving. Four is Malabar Chip, owned by Henry and Sally Joseph Check of Lebanon, Ohio. Mark Evers, the trainer driver. Five, Chip's Recruiter, owned by M.T. Bowles of Kevill, Kentucky. Randy Gerald trains and drives. And at number six, Mr. Mime, owned by Marshall and Lois Field of Rochester Hills, Michigan. Chris Boring, the trainer. Chris Boring, the driver. That's the field for race number nine. They'll be at the gate in only three minutes. Short post, three We're minutes. Approaching the starting gate for the ninth race. First division of the Hayes Memorial for trotting two-year-old Colts. They're at the post, and the gate's moving. Stable mate Sheridan Hanover and likely Ladd. The John Johnson trained entry also drew one, two, so they're side by side. Five join them, and here they come. Why mess with success? Off stride early. They're off and trotting quickly for the lead goes Likely Lad on the inside getting out third is Sheridan Hanover second on the outside Chip Chip Array dropped in quickly fourth will be Malabar Chip on the outside five now for Mr. Mime off stride at the start Chip's recruiter is six and on a break behind the gate trailing the field why mess with success as they roll toward the quarter mile mark and trotting with the lead is Likely Lad the Mr. Vixen leads it for Bernie Lynch that by a length and a half Racing second, Chip Chip Hooray, trotting third behind him. As they reach the quarter will be Sheridan Hanover. And out of the outside, underway, is Chip Chip Hooray. He's rolling as they're at the quarter, 30 and 3, off a lazy front quarter. They're racing down the backstretch. On the outside, there goes Chip Chip Hooray. He has a nose, neck half a length in front. On the inside, trotting second is Likely Lad. Racing third, Sheridan Hanover. Four down the backside is Malabar Chip as they trot toward the half-mile mark. Racing behind him, five, is Mr. Mime. Trotting six after an early mistake is Chip's recruiter. And way, way back, why mess with success? Field at the half will be led by Chip Chip Parade. The son of Pine Chip leads him past that mark in 59-1. They're trotting into the upper turn. And it's Chip Chip Parade. John Campbell by a length and a half. Behind him, racing second is likely Lad. A closer third is Sheridan Hanover. Trotting fourth on the outside with a lot of trot. Here comes Mr. Mime, and he's rolling as they race into the final turn. Racing five as they trot toward the three-quarter mile station is Malabar Chip. The leader, Chip Chip Hooray, now easing to the outside, comes Likely Lad, and continuing his drive toward the front is a very strong Mr. Mime and Chris Boring at the three-quarter mile mark. 29-3, top of the lane, Chip Chip Hooray, about to be tested by Likely Lad, and on the extreme outside will be Mr. Mime. To the inside of him, trotting fourth in the final going is Sheridan Hanover. They turn for home, and in the lane, Campbell has his charge well in the lead. Chip Chip Hooray with a four-length lead as they drive to the wire. Likely Lad is second. Mr. Mime is third. It's going to be Campbell winning again. It's going to be Chip Chip Hooray over the late rushing Likely Lad. Under the wire third was Sheridan Hanover finishing four. Mr. Mime and the final check to Malabar Chip. Six will be Chip's recruiter and the distant trailer Why Mess with Success. That mile 158 flat. Chip Chip Hooray a late season starter as you can see by the program, made only two qualifying starts before the Reynolds stake at Pocono, which he won, then was third in the Hanover. After that, he won the Hoosier Futurity at Indianapolis, and today he has won in a new record time the Hayes Memorial. So into DuCoin's victory lane, Goes a lightly race, but what now should be a highly regarded two-year-old based on three wins and four starts. On by Chuck Sylvester and Neil Goldman of Florida. Trained by Chuck Sylvester. Driven by John Campbell. Chip, chip, hooray. Presentation of the race trophy. 
by Gene Hayes Raider to this two-year-old pine chip son of the Valley Victory mother, share of victory. Chip Chip Hooray, 58 in this one. Projects himself very much into the picture for the upcoming classics, including the Breeders' Crown. Another Chuck Sylvester protege. Another John Campbell Grand Circuit win. 100 million and adding for Campbell. There he is, Chip Chip Array, John Campbell.